Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're gonna be speaking on the life and tragic death of Dallas rapper Lil Loaded, who recently just passed away. In July of 2019, 20 year old Deshaun Robinson uploaded a video to YouTube titled Lil Loaded Block Baby. According to an article by Complex News, popular YouTuber Tommy Craze came across the video only 54 minutes after it was posted. Tommy was filming an episode in which he reacts to music videos with zero views and Block Baby immediately grabbed his attention. Tommy Craze would drop a reaction video and by the next morning, Block Baby had amassed over 45,000 views and Lil Loaded was on his rise to stardom. He'd only been rapping eight months. This was only his second song he'd released, and the rest is history. Originally born in San Bernardino, California, Lil Loaded moved to Dallas, Texas at 10 years old, giving him what he described as a southern draw with a West Coast vibe. He lived with his mom and four siblings while his father was incarcerated, looking up to his older brother of eight years as a role model. Lil Loaded was only 15 when his older brother was killed, and the murder is still unsolved to this day. Following in his brother's footsteps, he'd grow up fast in the streets. Recalling in a Vlad TV interview, his brother's death only further propelled him into the streets, and that same year was the first of many times he'd been shot at, and at a later time, he was shot in his hand after blocking his face, saying if he hadn't blocked the bullet, he would have caught a face shot. As he continued releasing music and rising to fame, his life, which was already drastically changing for the best, would take a turn for the worst. An Instagram live from June of 2020 would show Lil Loaded in a hospital bed, revealing a gunshot wound to his leg as he threw up gang signs nodding his head. Only four months after being shot, his best friend would be killed. But how and who did it shocked everyone. October 25th, 2020, 18-year-old Khalil Walker was sitting in a car with Lil Loaded, and as the story goes, he was recording Lil Loaded with the phone while Loaded aimed a Draco pistol at him. The gun went off twice, and Khalil's sister came outside the house finding her brother on the ground as Lil Loaded and another man stood by him. She then found the phone with the video capturing the shooting. Lil Loaded got Khalil into the car with the help of the third man and drove him to the hospital where he later died. Loaded would receive backlash through social media by his own people in his own city, even his own gang blaming him for the death and questioning how the fuck you shoot someone accidentally twice. While those more familiar with firearms, and more specifically a Draco which fires a 7.62 round, believed he may have accidentally bump fired the weapon causing two shots in rapid succession. Two months later, Loaded would be arrested and charged with the murder of his friend, and later in March of 2021, he'd be indicted on a lesser charge of manslaughter. Out on bond, being blamed for the death of his best friend, and the pressure of maintaining his career with his legal struggles, matters only became worse, and on May 31st, the news broke. Lil Loaded's lawyer confirmed he had died, and authorities later revealed he was found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to his head. While fans and blogs struggled to find a reason why he'd do such a thing, a friend of the rapper took to Instagram alleging he killed himself over his girlfriend. The rapper allegedly told him a month prior if someone had sex with this girl, he'd kill him. And whether she cheated or decided to cut ties with the 20-year-old rapper, he decided to take his life but not before posting a message on his Instagram story reading, Dear Most High, please forgive me for my shortcomings and all the times I fell short of making you proud and being appreciative of the blessings that have been put into my life. Sometimes the lines are blurred between solid and being heartless. I wanna thank you for how far I've come and the people that you've put into my life to keep me grounded and humble through everything and I love every single one of those people that are genuinely for me. I ask for entrance into your kingdom through all of my mistakes. I know you love all of your children and I'm ready for my heart and soul to join you. 
Rest in peace to Deshaun Maurice Robinson, AKA Lil Loaded. Now this video, it makes me feel a couple of different ways and a part of me really didn't even want to cover it because it, it hits deep for me personally. Um, I remember in middle school there was a kid down in Florida and similar situation. His girl broke up with him, he grabbed a gun, he shot himself in the head. And news went through whatever it was, I think Facebook back then. You know, all the everyone's reposting it, prayers for him, prayers for him. And I remember sitting there debating if I wanted to pray. Because he was actually in an opposite gang. And I mean, we're like 14 at the fucking time. You know, but at that age, I'm trying to turn my savage up and really not care about things. And I already didn't care about a lot of things. So why should I give a fuck about him? But I ended up sitting in my room. This was like at midnight, one in the morning. And I finally decided after however long to pray for him. And it was like... Right after I prayed, I hit refresh and everyone was putting R.I.P. He had died. And it felt weird to me because it was almost like if I prayed a little sooner, would it have made a difference? Or was it pointless? Why the fuck would you even do that? Was he weak minded to begin with? I had a lot of different thoughts. And now that, you know, I'm obviously years older. I've thought of suicide on multiple occasions. Not that I'm so severely depressed that I want to kill myself, but the comfort in being in control of my own death. Because the one thing that I don't like is not knowing when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. Is it going to be painful? Is it going to be quick? The thought of having the comfortability and choosing this day... I'm going to do it and I'm going to have the opportunity to say what I want to say to everyone that I want to say something to before I make that final decision. Being inside a prison, I don't met so many traumatized people, violent people that have done things to others. It's different when you're caught up in the moment, when you're violent, when you lash out, when you hurt people. When you're surrounded by a gang, when you're surrounded by an army, it's different when you're doing it around those people than when you have to sit up at night and you can't sleep and you think about these things. Or you have dreams of the violence and you relive these things. You wake up in the middle of the night sweating just thinking about this shit and no one's really there at that time to speak on that shit. It's almost like when I started this channel, the more and more prison stories I put out, the more and more my dreams placed me back in the prison. Where I'm watching someone being stabbed in the most vicious fucking way, or I'm being stabbed, or I'm stabbing somebody. And I can't escape the dream, I can't close my eyes, I have to see everything, and then I wake up. I'm sweating, I'm breathing heavy. It's like the more I relived it by thinking about it. And when I think of Lil Loaded, that's what I think about. He lived a fucked up life that a lot of kids live that are in the hood. His older brother got killed. It turned this savage up. He hit the streets. Fuck it. He's getting shot at. He gets shot. I'm sure it isn't one-sided. I'm sure he did his dirt too. Then he fucked around and... Allegedly accidentally kills his friend And he's got everybody blaming him for the death of his friend I can only imagine how many things he had bottled up inside of him That were bothering him on a day by day basis And a lot of people don't consider The mental health of rappers A mental health period It's the same thing inside of prison And I don't met so many gangsters inside of prison The people that I felt like was on that that I later found out committed suicide because they either had the same feeling as me of wanting to be in control or they just couldn't take it anymore. They couldn't take what comes with it. The shit that you have to live with and think about and deal with that other people have no idea about. The PTSD, right? The struggles. 
I feel like it's important to highlight what comes with a fucked up violent lifestyle. People are looking at my channel like, yo, he went to prison, he did this and that, now he blew up on YouTube and it's like, yeah, that aspect is good, but the aspect people don't think about is the fucked up shit that I've seen, done, been through, and lived with. And I'm sure it was the same for him, even though he was so much younger. And I'm sure it's the same for a lot of people that have followed the same steps that I've taken. And I say that to say this. For y'all that are fans of the rappers, that are fans of the YouTube channels, understand that you can be a fan without doing exactly what they do. You can be a fan of the lifestyle. You can be a fan of what they portray without actually living it. And if you have the choice to avoid living it, don't emerge yourself in it. Because all that's gonna happen is, if you live to make it through, you'll realize everything I'm saying now. And you'll see how much trauma you had to go through to get to that point where you're able to look back and say, damn, I wish I didn't even go this way. And hopefully you'll do the same thing I'm trying to do and tell a motherfucker, if you have the opportunity, go in another direction. But hey, rest in peace to Lil Loaded. Mental health is real and if you're struggling through some shit, I suggest you seek help. You don't need to take meds, you don't need to go to therapy, but find somebody that can listen to you. And find somebody that you can express this shit that you normally don't. But hey, it's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. Till next time. Hey,